everybody and welcome back to my channel. The challenge I am participating today is the one that every change of seasons Kenya from Kenya's uh, decor corner hosts and it's about decorating a lantern for the new season. So this time we are talking about fall. But first of all I wanted to show you um, I told you almost every time I participate in a challenge that my daughter and I are dumpster divers and uh, we find treasures in the dumpsters and uh, I told you this because I usually use things from the dumpster. Well, the other day we went to Michael's and we found these four beautiful, awesome, unbelievable lanterns. This one has one glass missing, the door is okay, but this glass was broken. And I'm going to use this one. This one has all the glasses, has no problem, but it's, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little bit bent here, and it's bent on top. Let me show you, I don't know if you can see it, but this is bent you know so but a little hammering and this will work but I don't I, I try to use this one but I need something that has at least one glass missing because I'm going to place something in the front so this is out we found the second one of these large ones look at this beauty Sorry, I have no, no room. This is so beautiful. But this has two glasses missing. I don't mind. I probably donate this one. Uh, but now I'm going to decorate it. The regular price is $40. And the smaller are $20, $24. So we found two large and two smalls, and I'm going to work with this one and this one. And this is the other small one that we found, and we find, found that this has only this glass missing, the door glass missing. But anyways, I prefer to use this because I need more room here. But look how beautiful they are. All of them in the dumpster. So well, let's get into the DIY because this is going to be kind of messy. <laughs> well, let me remove the tags. I should have done this earlier, but I forgot. And I wanted to show you the price anyways. One thing. Let's start by the small one. For this one, I'm going to use. I needed a small um, pumpkin, and I wanted a rustic one, and I couldn't find one that was like I wanted. So, I found this twine for one dollar, a dollar tree the roll of twine that you buy to, to use it. So I added, I have this green kind of yarn or twine also that I bought at um, Target I think many years ago and these stems, wood stems also from Dollar Tree and I made a pumpkin with this uh, roll of jute or twine. So I'm going to place this pumpkin here. Hope you will be able to see it. And then I'm going to add other pieces of the core. For example, I have this really cute owl from uh, Family Dollar that I'm going to place here. And now I'm going to fill it in with some other things like, well I'm going to add some greenery, 
sorry, I have to reach for those things. And let's start by adding some greenery here. And uh, here in the back. And I will add a pumpkin. Let me see. I have this, no, it's too big. I'm going to add a smaller one there. This is also from Dollar Tree, they come in peaks. So I'm going to add that there. And I'm going to add, these are also for, the, almost everything except for the owl that is from Family Dollar, are from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to add some cotton balls there. I'm going to add this pumpkin here. More greenery. I want to do something quick that allows me to decorate my lantern in a way that it will make me it will make easy for me to remove everything once the season is over. So I will have another cotton ball there maybe. No. No, I don't like that. So I'm going to add some of these pine cones. Maybe. Yes, I think they look better. I have another one here. Yes, because I don't want to cover the the pumpkin I made. And another leaf here. Yes, and I think I like how it looks. Let me remove this. This doesn't belong there. So I think I like how it looks. Let me see. This is a little big. Maybe a smaller one here would look better. Yes, it looks much better. I think. And let me have this there. Yes, and there you have it. And I'm going to add something on top. I bought this kind of garland, also at Dollar Tree. And the famous, already famous, burlap leaves. So I made a wreath. I want to show you quickly how I did it. I'm going to use some wire. I used this bottle because it was exactly the size I needed for the garland. So let's say that this is the garland. I just went around a few times like so. let's say three or four times and then when I removed it of course I didn't want all the loops to get loose like this so I cut if I can find the scissors yes I cut the piece and I started going around the loops you see to keep all of them in place and give it the look of a wreath well I'm not going to do all of this because I want to save time and that's what I did here you see oh I'm sorry I'm moving the camera I made the loops with the bottle and then with another piece I went all around and I got this beautiful wreath that I'm going to hang here. I added this um, burlap leaf. I'm going to glue it just in case. 
our friend the glue gun. I need my finger protector. Where is it? Here it is. And now I left a little bit of the wire that comes with the leaf. And I'm going to place it there and just make a loop. That's enough. It's not going to go anywhere. So here we have it. And it needs something else here. So I think I'm going to have, yes, I'm going to have a cotton ball that matches the rest of the decor. Yes, I like it. I'm always generous with the hot glue because I want things to stay in place and not to have to worry about that. So let's wait for it to dry. And we have our first lantern finished. I will show you them later, both of them together, because it's hard to see them <laughs> in this way, but well, this is the first one. Oh, it's heavy. So let's move on to the second one. For the second one I'm using the largest lantern and I came up with the idea of using this <laughs> I think it's like a high stack oh my god I sprayed with hairspray I sprayed it all around and still is still shredding it's a mess it's a total mess but anyways I'm going to use it so I want to place this here that's why I like that there is no glasses here because it gives me more room. I found this cute, cute, cute bird at Family Dollar for three dollars. It sent it adorable. I love it. So I'm going to place it on top of the haystack. Then I'm going to add some greenery that I have here. I think this is a leftover from another project. So I'm going to add it here. I needed a candle that was tall and I didn't have one. So I had two that were smaller. So I glued them I didn't remove the uh, sticker because otherwise you can't glue on the wax, wax. So I glued the stickers together with hot glue. Then I placed a pin here. And now I'm going to adhere this piece of burlap. Again, I can't adhere it to the wax because the wax melts and doesn't work so I have to adhere it to the other side of the burlap but I've done this many times so I can assure you that this works so now I'm going to add this candle here Blue here. Okay. Then I had this pumpkin. This was white, and I mixed some colors and made this green, light green, and then I made the shadows because I didn't want white and white. So I'm going to add this pumpkin here.
this is from Dollar Tree also. I think I'm going to add um, this one here. Yes, and I have these flowers that I would like to add here. As you can see, I'm not gluing anything because, as I said, I want to be able to use the same lantern for other seasons. So I'm going to add this, maybe this here. No. Mm, I don't like it. Maybe here. Yes. Well, this I'm going to glue it because otherwise it's going to fall apart, but it's easy to unglue. So I think that I like how it looks now. I think you don't see anything. Oh no, you, you can see it. So, yes, much better. Okay, so now I'm, I have my lantern decorated. As you can see, it was really quick. I'm going to remove a little bit of this mess. There is a hole here, maybe I will have another pumpkin later, but it's not going to be seen because I'm going to display this this way. So, no problem with that. I'm going to add something here. And I have already glued these two burlap um, leaves. And I have this bow. You know, I'm a fan of buffalo check. So at least one of my wreaths had to have <laughs> buffalo check ribbon or something. So this I'm going to glue it because then I can unglue it easily. So I'm going to glue the leaves first, like so. And now I'm going to glue the ribbon. Here. Very easy. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can show you. because you were not seeing anything I was talking and you were not seeing. So here's what I did with my lantern, with the top of the lantern. And I don't know if I'm going to add this leaf, maybe. I'm not quite sure. Let me see how it looks. It's too long. Yeah, I like it. So I can just kind of tie it around. And that would be it. Looks good, I think. Yeah. And then I told you I wanted to do something with the base of the lantern. Let me see if I can show you. What I want to do is to add this wreath. I wrapped it around with the same ribbon. So I want to display it this way. And I want to add, let me see if I like it, or I like it as it is, for example. Let me see if I can show you. Let 
but I think that if I add some flowers here it looks much better yes let me try the other side but I think I like it on that side I don't know I really don't know <laughs> But I think I like it better this in this side. Yes. So that's my second one. And as you can see, it's just a matter of assembling things and using your imagination. So I hope you like this video. If so, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done it already and ring the bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. I want you to know that I'm leaving the link to um, Kenya's channel and the playlist with all the videos participating in this challenge and also the link to our dumpster diving channel if you want to see how we get these things and everything is going to be in the description box. Thank you so much, Kenya, for hosting this challenge every time there is a new season. I love it. Thank you to all of you from the bottom of my heart for watching and hope to see you in my next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.